So I've been on the hunt for a good stage piano for our church for the last three or four months. We've got a decent digital piano, but it's uh, about 20 years old. I did some research on it a couple days ago, and turns out it's a old Yamaha that was built in the late 90s, and they stopped production in around 2000. So at the youngest, it's probably about 21 years old. So I'm thinking it's time for an upgrade, you know. It's got an okay sound and an okay feel, uh, but I think we want to improve on it. So after a lot of research, I was mainly interested in three different boards. The Kawai MP7SE, the Kurzweil Forte, and the Dexable Vivo S9. The Roland RD2000 also sounded interesting to me, but I'm not a huge fan of Roland's latest piano offerings, so that one was kind of further down on the list. I also considered the Core Grand Stage 88, uh, but I believe they have a Fatar action on that, and I'm not a big fan of the hammer-weighted Fatar actions, at least the older ones. I've got a good friend that has a Core Kronos, and that's an amazing instrument, but I really don't like the weighted feel hammer keys on that. I've got a Core Triton Studio, and that's got waterfall keys on it, and I love those. Uh, it's one of the best synth action key beds that I've ever used, uh, and that's also a great instrument. It's one of the reasons I'm a huge Korg fan. I've had that thing for, shoot, I don't know, 15 years maybe, something like that. So it's served me pretty well. I think Fatar might have some newer actions that have more of a piano feel to them, but the older hammer-weighted action feels nothing like a real piano to me. It's kind of a dead feel and I don't get as much enjoyment playing from those instruments. Now some people like that type of action and that's great but I'm not one of those guys and to me if you're gonna drop about three or four grand on an instrument uh, it better feel like driving a Ferrari because you know that's a serious amount of money and it's you know something that you really should consider because hopefully you're gonna be with that instrument for a very long time. So walking into Sweetwater is really amazing. If you have never been there and you live in the Midwest, just go. It's like Guitar Center times three. Uh, the place is massive. The keyboard room probably has over 100 boards to try out, including a whole bunch of um, baby grand pianos. And I probably spent four of the five hours we were there just in that room, and I touched less than 10 instruments. So... I kind of need to go back someday. <laughs> I had called ahead to make sure that they had what I wanted available, and they were kind enough to set out a couple of boards that were not currently on the floor. Ben, their piano guy, showed me around to each one that I was interested in. I started with the Kawai MP11SE. I knew, unfortunately, that this was not going to be our top choice, mainly because of the lack of organ sounds, and as this was for a church, Having at least two or three decent organs, including a full registrar pipe organ, was pretty high on the list of important things. But I wasn't going to pass up the chance to play it, because I've never seen one, so I sat down for a few minutes and I was not disappointed. Everyone raves about the action on these, and everything that you hear on the internet is absolutely true. It is fantastic. There's only a couple of little things that are off, but it is really, really close. The keys feel very nice, um, and the Kawai 9-foot Grand sound is very good. If you want a board for mainly piano, then this should be at least in your top three to try out. Since I knew we weren't going to be purchasing the MP11, uh, I went to the Dexabell board, which was right next to it. Now, the Dexabell is an interesting keyboard, and it kind of caught my eye, even though it's pretty pricey. It's got some really great things going for it. It sounds good. Uh, the wood weighted keys feel pretty authentic and the surface of the keys has a really unique feel on it, which made for a really great playing experience. There are a couple things though that gave me a negative impression. Uh, the first, and this isn't Dexable's fault, but uh, there was only one piano sound option. I'm pretty sure that there's others built in, but someone must have overwritten them because I could only find one, and the others were blank. I was really disappointed. 
I wanted to try this board, I wanted to like this board, but I couldn't really test its full potential because of that. The second thing that I kind of dislike about it is the look. Uh, I do like the blue LEDs versus the reds on most of the other boards, but I really don't like the silver blue color scheme and the side panels are plastic and they look, I don't know, they just don't look very nice to me. I know some people will say I'm stupid for taking that into account, um, especially if the instrument sounds and plays really good, but you have to feel comfortable and like what you are playing. And if the look of an instrument puts you in a negative mindset before you even start playing, then you aren't going to have a great experience every time you sit down. The last thing that was a negative for me was the combination of plastic buttons and fader caps. Um, which they are solid, but if I'm going to spend four grand on this thing, I kind of want something better than that. Uh, and also the motorized faders. My concern with the faders is we've got a lot of choir members and, you know, people put music books on top of the piano. I do have a concern with them getting broken over time. Uh, and as we live very far from any Dexabel authorized agent, it would probably be painful to get this fixed. I think other people would see the motorized faders as a big plus and they're really really cool to watch uh, but for our use I think it's kind of overkill and it really knocked this board out of competition. So the next board I sat down at was the Kawai MP7SE. I was pretty sure that this was the board that I was going to go home with because it's the least expensive of the group and it has the second best Kawai action. So I spent quite a bit of time playing it. Um, the feel is second tier, I would say, compared to the Dexabel and the MP11, but it's really, really good. I mean, it's not that much different. Uh, the keys have a little bit of a plasticky feel to them, but they're solid and, again, still pretty darn good. And the sound samples are very well done. There's several kawaii's in here and uh, there was a bunch of pads that sounded absolutely excellent when you pair them with the piano sounds. So at this point I had thought that my choices were down to mainly one board, um, but I wanted to try out the Kurzweil, which I was super interested in, and also the Roland. But when I turned in my seat I noticed I was sitting right next to the Nord section. Now, I'm not a huge Nord fan. I think they sound really nice, uh, but I was never a fan of the red color. And if you look at their board specs, especially when you look at the price and then you compare them to something like the Korg Kronos or the Roland Phantom, uh, it, it doesn't hold up, you know. If you look at it on paper, I would totally pick the Kronos or the Phantom over the Nord any day of the week. But what caught my eye when I was at Sweetwater is that they had a nice looking stage piano in the Nord section and had had a real wood top and sides and it was kind of a reddish mahogany uh, and this was the Nord Grand. And next to that there was a Yamaha which kind of had fallen off my list at the beginning. Uh, that's the YC88. Uh, but I sat down and played that for a bit too and that is a really nice instrument. It's got really good action. Uh, the keys feel great. Uh, the Yamaha piano sounds are great. But it lacks a couple things that we were shopping for. Uh, mainly, it doesn't have a pipe organ and it doesn't have a lot of other sounds to it. I also tried and I liked the Roland RD2000. Uh, that actually turned out to be a really nice board. It's got a lot of bells and whistles to it. But my biggest disappointment with it, I guess, is the so-so piano sounds. Um, the functionality of this board with all the pots and faders is super nice. And the action was pretty similar to the Yamaha. I think the Yamaha is a little bit uh, heavier action than the Roland, but they're actually very similar. So if we are going to compare the action of these boards, I would say the Roland, the Yamaha, the Nord, the Dexabel, and the Kawai all have a really good feel to them. Each one is a little different, and they all have slight pluses and minuses. 
Uh, the Curse Wheel was the most disappointing as it's got that older Fatar action and I just don't like the feel of that. Uh, I didn't even turn it on because of that. I was hoping that it would be um, an improved action and was really looking forward to it because I've heard and seen some great things uh, on the internet about this board. The one thing that got me though was that I kept going back to the Nord even though, again, it's a pricey board compared to all of the others, uh, there's something in the playing experience that stood out. If I had to rate the action of all these boards on a scale of 1 to 10, they would all be between probably an 8.5 and a 9 compared to a real grand piano, uh, with the exception of the Curse Wheel. And the Nord is probably on the lower end of that range, but, and this is an important consideration, I'm gonna use this for piano, organ, probably some Rhodes and some dyno sounds. And a fully weighted grand piano feel is great for only one of those options. And it's not so great for the others. I'm not sure how Nord adjusted the Kawai action uh, because they use, I think they use the same Kawai action as the MP7SE. But I do know they made some slight adjustments and I think they removed the weights so that all the keys are weighted the same instead of it being more like a piano where your lower register keys are heavier. And to me the result is similar to playing like an older upright or a baby grand piano where the action has loosened a little bit from age. And that's not a bad thing. I played a Kimball upright at another church a few weeks ago and the Nord kind of felt like that. It was easy to play. The other thing that I will say about the Nord is that it sounds amazing. Uh, the white grand piano sound just rings out and there is more dynamic range when the action is set on normal or heavy. The Kawai's sound really good but they fall into this specific dynamic range and the Nord just wins here. I can get it to be really soft and then pound on the keys and it responds just like a normal piano would. The Nord probably also had the widest range of good piano sounds. Uh, the Kawais and the Yamaha are um, just a little bit behind, I would say second best. They've got a pretty good range but they just don't quite match uh, the variety of the Nord. If we want to switch and talk about the Roland, the one thing that continued to disappoint me is their lack of diversity in their piano sounds. They boast all these different V piano and supernatural sounds, uh, but to me they it's like they're all just slight variations on a theme and they don't really sound different. It's like 18 different flavors of milk chocolate. The Nord on the other hand has the milk chocolate, the dark, the white, and the Nestle Crunch, so it's just got more there that you can play with. The biggest problem I have with the Nord is it's expensive and frankly I'm not really a Nord guy. So some final comments that I would say is that all of these pianos have really good road sounds and dynos and whirlies. I'm a particular fan of the road sounds and all of them are awesome. <laughs> I wish I could take all of them home. Uh, if you're in the market for any one of these instruments, I don't think you will be disappointed frankly. So that's it. I spent over five hours in Sweetwater my first and hopefully not last trip there and I walked out of the front door with empty hands believe it or not. My dad and I had a great time but it was a little bittersweet walking out. I had pretty much narrowed down my choice to two pianos but I still wanted to do some research and comparisons to find out what my final decision was going to be. With that I hope you're healthy and happy and I will see you on the other side of the mountain.